Okay, everybody objected. The committee, Fisker, the Owners Association. I didn't read the Fisker objection in my last video, and I'm glad I didn't because they have completely 180'd. Reply in support of motion of CVI investments to convert the debtor's Chapter 11 cases to cases under Chapter 7 of the Bankruptcy Code. CVI investments by and through its undersigned counsel files this reply in support of the motion of CVI investments to convert the debtor's Chapter 11 cases to cases under Chapter Chapter 7 of the Bankruptcy Code, and in opposition to the objections to fund completion of the fleet sale and an orderly transition of these cases to Chapter 7, as set forth in the proposed fifth interim cash collateral order in final resolution of the motion and these Chapter 11 cases, the debtors have irrevocably agreed to exercise their absolute right under Section 1112A of the Bankruptcy Code to convert these Chapter 11 cases to cases under Chapter 7. Effective on August 19th, 2024, subject to the terms of the order and the term sheet attached thereto. See proposed cash collateral order. Accordingly, given the accommodations in the proposed cash collateral order that address the concerns raised in the objections and because the debtor's right to convert under section 1112 is absolute, whereas here the debtors remain in possession and the cases were voluntarily filed and not previously converted, the objections are moot. CVI notes that there would also have been ample cause to convert these cases based on the debtor's substantial and continuing losses, their inability to rehabilitate, and their inability to prosecute or confirm a plan without CVI's consent. The arguments raised in the objections also incorrectly assume that CVI desires to destroy the fleet sale and leave the debtors in Chapter 7 without adequate resources, whereas the truth is the contrary, as CVI has always been willing to fund the orderly transition to Chapter 7 that is now reflected in the proposed cash collateral order. Lastly, any concerns about prejudicing creditor rights are misplaced, as all rights of unsecured creditors can be vindicated in Chapter 7. Indeed, at that point, even the committee agrees that conversion will likely be in the best interest of the estates. In light of the agreement of the debtors convert these cases as of right by August 19th, 2024, CVI will defer its motion to convert for cause with the intent that it be withdrawn or dismissed as moot after the debtor completes conversion pursuant to to section 1112A. For a more complete explanation of CVI's position, CVI respectfully refers the court to its statement in support of consensual use of cash collateral and objection to any non-consensual use of cash collateral filed contemporaneously herewith. Now this actual cash collateral order is 139 pages. There are two copies. One is a red line, but all we really need to go through is a couple of pages towards the middle. And I have those here, the term sheet, conversion order. The conversion order granting motion of CVI investments to convert the debtor's chapter 11 cases to cases under chapter 7 of the bankruptcy code shall provide that all accrued administrative expenses set forth in the approved budget that remain unpaid as of the termination date shall be paid in full in accordance with the approved budget upon or following the date the conversion order is entered provided that the fees and expenses of the professionals that are required to be paid pursuant to this section shall be limited to those included in the carve-out not be capped by the approved budget for amounts incurred through the prior termination date and be paid solely to the extent such fees and expenses constitute allowed professional fees provided further that any such fees and expenses of the professionals not included in the carve-out shall be paid in accordance with section 726 of the bankruptcy code solely to the extent of funds available to be paid pursuant to such section and any such fees and expenses constitute allowed professional fees. For the avoidance of doubt, each disbursement set forth on the approved budget shall be deemed an administrative expense for the purposes of this term sheet and the conversion order. To the extent any disbursement specified in the approved budget to be made during the interim period is not made during the interim period, such disbursement shall be treated as an accrued administrative expense and shall be paid prior to or upon the conversion date or following the conversion date to the extent not paid previously. And here's the meat and potatoes. The conversion order shall require that following the conversion date all documented costs related to the following shall be paid subject to an aggregate cap of $750,000. Clearing any open recalls and or stop sale holds, including but not limited to, in connection with the implementation of the OS 2.1 software update as required to clear all applicable recalls and stop sale holds, rehiring critical employees and any third-party contractor required to assist with completing the development, testing, and deployment of the OS 2.2 software 
and fulfilling any outstanding consumer vehicle title registration and sales tax submissions, any accrued but unpaid employee payroll and associated tax obligations, any amounts in connection with each line in the approved budget not previously paid after application of any unused amounts in the approved budget. Any Chapter 7 trustee appointed in the debtor's Chapter 7 cases shall be required to engage in good faith with the Fisker Owners Association. What that says to me is there's $750,000 allotted to clear stop sale holds. In letter A, any, and including but not limited to, is really nice. But there is no specific mention of water pumps, unfortunately. I'm not going to guarantee that this is a promise that all the water pumps are going to be replaced, but at least there's a money allocation. This was just a quick video to let you know that Chapter 7 is going to happen, and when, and that obviously Chapter 7 ends everything. The silver lining is there was money allocated. You will know more very soon. Join Patreon or become a YouTube member for early access to videos. Email me at ev80kid at gmail com if you want access to some ev80 kit resources subscribe for more and we'll see you on the next one hey smash the like button thank you